Kerry here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing great today. So today I'm back with another speed build for you guys and this is actually a build that's gonna be part of my save file and today we are building in Hemphor and Bagley that it's the world that we got with the Courage Living expansion pack and today we're building like an old small ranch. I actually had a specific family in mind when I started building this and I took the inspiration from a picture that I saw on Pinterest. If I remember I will put the picture but you may be um, knowing me by now and you may know that I almost never put the picture because I always forget but yeah if I find it I will put it in here so you can see uh, pretty much what uh, inspired me to build this house and I was thinking about building a house for a grandpa that lives with his uh, granddaughter so I actually uh, I'm gonna be creating the sims uh, I mean I did create them I would say but you will see it uh, if you follow me on Instagram or, uh, or TikTok uh, you will see that I I started building like doing these videos in which I play test a little bit of my builds and I do have like the family that would live in here play testing everything and showing that actually everything functions and uh, I think that's the way that I'm gonna start play testing my builds because I know that I owe you guys the play testing of my builds because I haven't had time in the last couple of months to actually do um, like a really intense play testing on my builds but now I think it's gonna be so much fun uh, with these kind of videos that I'm gonna be showing so yeah um, I already finished that video so you will be able to see it soon on Instagram and also on TikTok if you're watching this video the same day it's released uh, you may find the other um, video as well on my social media but yeah, um, as always, I need to address the fact that I am doing this voiceover with my son in my arms because I just fed him, so he's asleep, and you may hear him making quite, like weird noises and like really cute noises <laughs> because he's sleeping. But uh, he also may wake up uh, during this uh, voiceover, and it's a kind of a longer voiceover today. So bear with me in the case that he actually wakes up or makes any noises that uh, may uh, get into the voiceover. But uh, yeah, you see me uh, working on the exterior of the house it was actually a pretty simple uh, house but I wanted to go crazy with all the decorations and with all the uh, rundown parts of this uh, farm and uh, I was thinking that um, this family actually has a cow so I put the uh, uh, place the cow shed as you see now and they have one horse and also a dog so you have a uh, four sims uh, living in this household and also a cow but you can definitely change the cow for a llama if you want and you see me now going through the gallery and downloading this a uh, lawn uh, mower I think that's the correct pronunciation I I always forget how to pronounce that word but uh, that's an item that is a custom piece of furniture that was created by architect so uh, you may have seen me uh, placing it in some other videos in the past uh, so you can definitely download it from the gallery if you want but now I was trying to work on the landscaping a little bit we're building in autumn so all the trees are pretty much dead and I actually had to go through some days in the video like uh, in the Sims week in order to have more like uh, alive plants because I really wanted to play with the colors so you see now the transition and now that we have like more colorful plants and trees and stuff like that they're still in in fall but uh, they do look a little bit more alive and that was basically what I was trying to go for and you saw my playtester sim uh, appearing out of nowhere I have no idea why that happened but I got rid of it and uh, then I continued building but yeah the lawnmower uh, um, it's a custom piece of furniture. I mean, it's created with only in-game items, so it's not custom content. It's not functional. It's purely decorational. But yeah, um, Architect created it um, alongside many other custom uh, furniture that he creates. And uh, he actually allowed me to use his uh, costume uh, furniture for my save file. I asked him a few years ago if it was okay. And of course, I gave all the credit to uh, him because he is the creator of this uh, furniture. So yeah, um, 
I was really happy to be able to actually play uh, like place that item in here and uh, yeah we're still working a little bit on the exterior adding some uh, minor details to the exterior of this build so I ended up having so much fun decorating the exterior of this uh, farm and it's more of a ranch i would say i still was thinking that maybe the uh, grandpa actually does a lot of farming but uh, he doesn't have like um like a proper space for him to do farming so i placed that truck in there and later i'm gonna be placing some watermelons and other stuff <laughs> in the part like in the truck and uh, I was thinking that maybe he would uh, go to the um, town and start um, like and buy different fruits and stuff like that. But he will definitely have some planter pots in which he can actually do some gardening. And uh, yeah, that's basically what I thought maybe he lived out of that. And also, as I mentioned, everything has been play tested and everything functions. There's, there's literally one item that I had to move in order to have a 100% fully functional uh, house. And it's something in the kitchen, it's a pot that I placed on the uh, stove and then I had to get rid of it. it. Like I moved it to the counter and yeah, the rest, everything is completely functional. So that's pretty cool because I have been working a lot on trying to play test my build. And yeah, here we're working a little bit more of decorations. I ended up using this uh, tractor. I think it's the correct word. At least in Spanish, you call it tractor. But I don't know if in English you call it the same way. But yeah, I added that item in there. And you saw me placing uh, some patches of grass uh, in the wheels in the back that are actually out of the lot. Uh, if you download this build from the gallery, I'm pretty sure those uh, patches of grass are not going to show but if for the save file it's gonna be in there and i think that's pretty cool because using the tool mod allows us to place items out of the lots uh, that's basically what tool <laughs> stands for so i actually had a lot of fun doing that kind of details i always forget to do things like that but yeah I mean, you can do a lot of things when you play, when you pay uh, close attention to what you're doing. So here I'm adding the planters in here for the grandpa to do some gardening. And um, yeah, I was thinking that maybe he works like that. He's a gardener or maybe he's a retired gardener because uh, when I created the family, I didn't uh, uh, like you uh, had any jobs for them or anything like that and also the granddaughter is a teenager so maybe she has like um, a part-time job and uh, i was thinking like the family dynamic basically goes like this so uh, grandpa used to live by himself in this farm he used to live with his wife and suddenly the wife passed away and they actually had a daughter and the daughter got married and she actually had um her daughter that is his granddaughter and uh, suddenly uh, she passed away as well so uh, the granddaughter ended up living with grandpa because grandpa was a little bit sad a little bit maybe um, uh, not so not feeling so well so she decided to move in with him and uh, help him with the farm and help him with his animals and trying to make everything look a little bit better in order for her grandpa to feel better and sorry if you can hear like a siren or something in the back. Um, there's an ambulance or something <laughs> passing by and I refuse to close my window because it's really hot in here. So yeah, I'm really sorry if you heard it. I'm gonna try to um, lower it down <laughs> when I edit this uh, voiceover. But yeah, going back to the backstory of this family, that was pretty much what I was thinking. So she moved in with grandpa. Uh, she has her own bedroom. You can actually see it right next to the kitchen here. And um, yeah, she just decided to live with him because he's basically the only family that she has. And um, she moved in and she's trying to adapt to the farming life. Uh, she's a really nice girl, so she actually cares a lot about her grandpa and she wants uh, only the best for him. So yeah, she may have made uh, some sacrifices, <laughs> quote unquote, uh, for him, but uh, she just likes living with him and grandpa is feeling way better now that he is living with his granddaughter. 
and yeah they also have a dog uh, it's an english shepherd and they also have a horse so yeah they live like a happy family and they also have a cow as i mentioned but yeah we're moving to the kitchen now i mean we already <laughs> started in the kitchen uh, as i mentioned the only item that i had to move is actually the pot that i placed on the top of the stove and right now you see me grabbing some pieces of meat from the werewolves pack I'm creating this costume uh, cutting board that I always like to create in my kitchens uh, using this cutting board from Cool Kitchen and also some pieces of meat from Werewolves and something that I was so so happy about and that I realized when I was doing the plate testing is that these pieces of meat don't uh, spoil so you can keep them in there your sims cannot interact with them but uh, they will never spoil so that's pretty cool because you have this piece of decoration in here and you don't have to worry about the spoiling. <laughs> so I thought that was cool. I thought that was uh, great. And uh, I really like when the debug items that we place don't spoil. I think that's amazing because you can definitely create many things and you can give so much life to a place where, um, where you need to do things like this and I do love having like really lived in kitchens and here adding these uh, cups into the sink uh, the sink is fully functional I didn't have any problems using the sink your sims can actually wash the dishes they can wash their hands they can do everything in that sink so that was so cool um, the um, I don't know I placed many things in here and also that tiny dining space that I added I'm gonna get be getting rid of it because originally when I was thinking about this kitchen and because uh, like the reason why I wanted it to be so big was because I wanted to add the laundry machine in here but yeah when I placed that table with the chairs I completely forgot about the, my original idea so now you see me getting rid of everything and adding the washing machine and I'm gonna be decorating that part uh, to create like a uh, a small um, laundry area and there's no dryer there's only the clothing line that it's gonna be outside but you won't see it in the video you you will see it if you download this build but you won't see it on the video and you won't see it on the screenshots because it's in the very back of the build and I didn't think it was like um, like ideal for me to take a screenshot of that I mean it didn't make much sense if I was gonna explain it in the speed build anyways so yeah this is the tiny uh, laundry area and we're going back to changing the lights because I do like to build with the tiny sorcerer's lights uh, because of the lighting everything is so bright but I wanted to give a little bit more of a personality in this build so that's why I'm gonna be changing the lights uh, in the whole house but uh, for decorating purposes I kept the the tiny sorcerer's lights uh, until the very end but yeah we're moving into the dining room I thought it was gonna be a problem for me to add this hutch in here because I have around the table in here I thought that maybe your sims wouldn't be able to actually walk around um, into the kitchen or anything like that but they can actually do it and I was so so happy about it so yeah they can go to the tiny um, deck area that I created I added a games table in there and I'm also gonna be adding the easel that we got with the artist studio kit because I was thinking that maybe the the granddaughter was actually into painting and art and stuff like that and you will see when we get to her bedroom but uh, yeah she has an easel as well so maybe she likes to paint some nature uh, uh, paintings uh, maybe she paints by reference and she likes to paint everything that she sees around things like that and um, yeah she maybe sells the paintings as well and that's how she gets a little bit more of money for like to help her uh, grandpa with everything in the ranch so yeah uh, I thought it was like a cute storyline so I was really happy that everything functions and you see me here adding a lot of weird items there is actually a, a cow plant skull in here because I really like to decorate really um, over cluttered kind of old farms and for some reason every time that I decorate farms for old people I think that maybe they will have a lot of random things going on in their house and also you saw me placing the um, that uh, 
uh, oh, portrait from the Basement Treasures kit. I thought that maybe that was a picture of his wife and his daughter when she was uh, younger. So that's why that's the only picture, uh, like a family photo or anything like that you will see throughout the house. So it's kind of a very important picture for him. And that's the way he remembers his family. And yeah, also all the decoration that I added on top of the table, um, it doesn't block your sims from using the table, so that's great. But we're moving to the uh, living room now, and I actually really liked it. It's really cozy, it, it screams old, <laughs> and that's something that I have been embracing a lot lately in my last couple of builds. And for some reason, I think that's cozy. And also we're building in uh, autumn, so yeah, I don't know, there, there's something about it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the new expansion pack because I, I don't think I've addressed that in my previous videos and uh, I'm really excited about it. I cannot wait to start building in that new world. I cannot wait to see all the furniture and start just decorating with everything and also uh, if I uh, have to be honest, I cannot wait to build a graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> it's something that I have wanted to add to the save file for the longest time and uh, but I didn't want it to be a park I wanted it to be like a proper graveyard I cannot wait I mean I have so many ideas for that I'm gonna be adding them to the save file for sure but I just I, I never thought we would actually get them in the game and um, I was so, so happy when I saw that we could actually create our own or maybe, I don't know if we can create them, but at least there's a lot for us to decorate graveyards and things like that. And for some reason that uh, makes me so, so happy. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm definitely gonna be building things like that for the save file and also like uh, my regular content as well. And um, I was so excited. I don't know what you guys think about that. If you're excited about the new expansion pack, if you're gonna get it, I'm definitely gonna be buying it right away. So the 31st of October, I'm gonna be buying that expansion pack and probably in the next couple of days, I'm gonna be having some content regarding that. But I just cannot wait. I'm really, really excited about it. And um, I don't know, <laughs> I just love it so much. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Um, I never thought I would be so excited about something like that, <laughs> like an expansion pack like about death. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, I don't know, I cannot wait. <laughs> but yeah, we're adding some random decoration here because uh, that's something that I felt really inspired to do in this build. But we're moving now into the grandpa's room. So we're adding a ceiling fan here, even though we have the air conditioner uh, under the window, I thought it would be better as well to have the ceiling fan. But yeah, we're now moving into the grandpa's room and it's pretty basic, pretty simple. I actually cut out myself trying to find the perfect bed. I was between this one and the one from um, this one from base game. And I ended up going with this one, but I struggled a lot because the bedroom is quite small. So it's a four by three bedroom, I'm pretty sure. So it's not that big. I didn't add that much, but I did create like a, a gallery wall and with uh, different paintings and stuff like that. And uh, But that's gonna be like pretty much it for this bedroom. He has a dresser in here and yeah, and, and I ended up adding the hamper in this bedroom as well, but you won't see it in the video because I forgot about it. I had it in my mind all the time that because we have laundry, I have to add the hamper. But yeah, I forgot, I completely forgot to add it in the uh, in the speed build, but you will see it on the screenshot. So don't worry about it because everything it has been play tested and checked and everything functions the way it should. So yeah, I didn't add that much to this bedroom. I never, I, I really thought that maybe the grandpa uh, uh, never really cared that much about what he had in his bedroom but now we're moving into the bathroom and in the bathroom I use this thing from um, laundry day that I don't think I've used before maybe I've used it like once or twice but yeah because this is an old house I was thinking that maybe grandpa just never finished uh, building the house and never finished adding the final touches to the bathroom so he ended up keeping the sink the way that it was and he doesn't care that much about it but I just thought that it gave like a different uh, vibe to this bathroom and I really really liked it um 
Also, I do like that we have the bucket with the detergent and things like that under the, the sink. But there's something that uh, bothers me a little bit about that. And that's one of the swatches actually has the uh, detergent in a purple swatch, but we don't have the purple, purple swatch uh, in the uh, detergent by itself. So we only have three swatches of that and it's green, blue and red, but we don't have the purple one. And I was really bummed about it because the purple one looks really nice, but it just didn't go with the color of the uh, uh, top part of the sink. So I ended up going with that one that you saw me placing. And yeah, this is the teenager's uh, bedroom. I went with this uh, many items actually from high school years. So the bed is from high school years. The chair in the desk is from high school years. This uh, clothing rack with the clothes is actually from high school years as well. I added many things from that pack, but I didn't want it to feel like it was too matchy-matchy or too perfect because I thought maybe this teenager moved in um, when she lost her uh, parents as well. And um, she's using like random furniture that she had. Uh, she. Uh, like grandpa never had like specific bedroom for her in the farm so maybe this was like an old room that he just repurposed to um, live with his granddaughter so yeah she has a, a different random pieces of furniture in here she she doesn't care that much about having nice things either so uh, she just cares about living with grandpa and helping him with the ranch and uh, if she has her own space, uh, she's happy about that, but she doesn't care that much about the conditions of the uh, furniture. So that's why she has this table that it's actually a debug item from um, Eco Lifestyle. And uh, it's not like the best table and it's definitely not a desk. It's actually a dining table, but I decided to use it as a desk. So maybe it was like a table that grandpa had and she decided to use it as a desk area. She has uh, that uh, laptop that we got with a pastel pop kit. And of course, because this is a build for my save file and I usually mention this at the very beginning, but um, because of that only item that I placed from uh, the pastel pop kit, I do have to mention it. Uh, this is not a pack restricted build whatsoever. I used many packs and also the lawnmower that I place use items from uh, the uh, Journey to Batu pack as well. So if you decide to download this build and you realize that there's something from Journey to Batu, but you never saw me placing anything from that pack, it's because the lawnmower actually has items from Journey to Batu. Um, so in order for you to uh, have like a I mean, if you want to download this build and you want to have the lawnmower, you need to have Journey to Bad 2. But yeah, we're adding some uh, random dec uh, decals here. I thought that because she doesn't care that much about the conditions of the bedroom, uh, she just uh, ended up decorating uh, what she got in here. So there are some scratches on the wall. There's the peeling wallpaper as well. And uh, she will actually try to fix it sometime in the future. But right now she just cares about having a, a cute space for her and also uh, helping grandpa so um, she doesn't care that much about those details and yeah I did have to add this plushie from uh, the uh, storybook nursery kit because it's beautiful and I haven't used this loft version of it so uh, yeah I thought it would be co uh, cute to have it and uh, she also can uh, enjoy um, cross stitching because I added the cross stitching box in there and she can sit in in there and start uh, doing some cross stitching and that uh, maybe she actually sells those um, creations on Plopsy or things like that and maybe she's just a really uh, resourceful uh, kind of sim and she likes to have um, a lot of different projects to work on in order to help grandpa and I thought that was really cool. And you see me adding some uh, decals here from uh, For Rent. So they're supposed to be mold and things like that, but I just use them as a uh, decoration that uh, maybe shows that the house is not 100% clean, that uh, grandpa doesn't pay that much attention to those details. And so the, um, the farm is really old and he won't be uh, painting the walls like every year in order to get rid of those um, 
details so he doesn't care that much but uh, I really liked the uh, kind of realism that uh, those decals added to this build and yeah I was really happy about it I really liked it and of course I added some more scratches here as well and uh, you saw me placing the pet bowls and I mentioned that they have a dog the those two pet bowls are the only thing that shows that they actually have a dog and the dog actually sleeps on the couch so he doesn't have his bed or anything like that and here we're decorating this table and um, in order for it to fully to be fully functional I had to get rid of the beams that I added so you won't see the beams uh, in the final version of this build and also I uh, like uh, used the second floor of this farm of this barn uh, as a kind of an um, attic space so you will see me adding different random pieces in here as well like i'm gonna be adding a ladder in here to go upstairs and then i'm gonna be uh, adding some random uh, furniture and stuff like that but i actually will be adding uh, the christmas tree and things like that as well so if your sims want to celebrate christmas or uh winter fest or they just want to um add different things uh, like that uh, you can go uh, to the second floor of the barn and just uh, grab the uh, Christmas tree and there's the um, the decoration as well like the decorational boxes from seasons in which you can uh, add the uh, different uh, decoration to your houses during different festivities and stuff like that but yeah we're uh, adding some other pieces of decoration in here I added this uh, shovel and also this uh, rake, I think is the right word for that. I think I've mentioned it like once before in my life, but I don't remember. And I know that, that that time that I added something like this, I actually had to ask people on my video uh, what was the name of that item. But yeah, um, I'm just going through different things in here, uh, like adding different uh, small details. And you see me here working on that attic space that I mentioned. Um, adding the ladder and I really like this space actually it's really really cute so the first thing that I added was the Christmas tree and the Christmas decorations and stuff like that and uh, I just really like creating things like this I have been working on many builds that have like um, garages and stuff like that that they actually have a lot of storage space and they have things like this and i really liked it and because i used one item from the um storybook nursery kit i decided to add the toy box in here as well maybe it was something from um I don't know from uh, very many years in the past and things like that but yeah we're actually heading to the end of the video now so i hope you guys liked it and if you did please remember to like this video also comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also follow me on social media the links are all in the description down below and i'll talk to you guys in the next video enjoy the screenshots goodbye